Okay, this is a, uh, a description of the items that's available for this woodworking business. Go ahead, Ryan. All righty, this is, uh, we call this Taz, and it's actually a pre-sharpener for pencils before we stuff the lead in them. And what it does, again, on the bigger pencils, it gives you an ease of uh, sharpening these pencils by doing the angle ahead of time. And uh, along with Taz, you have your vacuum system. It's a grizzly piece. It works uh, really well to keep the dust down in the shops. And then uh, over here, we're moving to my doweling machine. This is an old lathe that's been converted to put the dowel on the end for my hammers and my hillbilly golf putters. Then I have several pencil sharpeners, uh, what I call pencil sharpeners. They're actually, of course, uh, uh, 648 belt sanders. And once you've applied the lead to that pencil, it has to be sharpened as well. So it's just an application to uh, get the pencil sharpened as they will. We also clean them and sometimes put a side sanded uh, end on them so that you can stamp it. Uh, maybe Arizona Grand Canyon, Disney World, or uh, Branson, Missouri. Now over here, uh, one of my drilling processes, we got a safety guard on it, but it's for drilling uh, the pencils again, and also for whistle drilling. You want to uh, always be careful around these tools, but they uh, get the job done. This here again is for a whistle, so it's got a little larger hole in it. And then we can come over here to uh, another drill I have. And uh, this bad boy is a heavy duty drill. It drills big holes for my uh, coffee mugs and uh, some of the other work. I do candle holders and stuff like that. So uh, once you fire this tool up, uh, I have a little jig here with some screws in it to hold this in place so that it doesn't get out of hand on you. And uh, you can complete that process and then these will be sanded and then, uh, of course, it's a, this is a coffee mug is what that is. Hillbilly coffee mug. And then uh, over here, we got a lot of the raw materials that are fixing to come out and get some work done to them. Lots of uh, pencils uh, and uh, sassafras that I use for the hammer heads, coffee mugs, stuff like that. Uh, we have the handles for the hillbilly uh, golf putter. And uh, a lot of the boxes and uh, barrels that I use to uh, uh, move things around in the shop. And then last but not least, you gotta have the bandsaw. It helps cut that stuff to length. So probably the most dangerous tool in the shop. But uh, anyway, uh, everybody needs a bandsaw. That's a good grizzly right there. Thank you. You're welcome.